Budget gaming mouses are something that we've all used within our lifetime. But which is the best one? I wanted to find that out, so I bought them all. We're gonna be going over all these budget gaming mouses and putting them into a giant budget gaming mouse tier list so we can find the best one. Some have some incredible features that I bet you've never seen before. And we're gonna go from cheapest to expensive, so... Let's start with the $1 one. So starting off with this $1 mouse, and you can't actually buy this thing off Amazon. You have to like sort of buy it in like this mouse and keyboard headset kit. But I looked this thing up on a load of different websites and it comes to about 99 cents. So let's take a look at it. So obviously it's wired, doesn't feel amazing. It has quite a nice click, I'll give it that. The scroll wheel feels genuinely horrible. Like that is, that is nasty. This thing isn't getting high points for me at the moment, but I have got a laptop here, which we're gonna plug this in. Oh, it does have RGB. I don't think you can change it though, and I think you're just stuck with whatever it gives you. I do want to try this thing out for gaming, but I, I think the only thing you can probably use this for is just Microsoft Word and Google. It feels really light, but it also feels really tacky. Like I feel like if I just pull on this, it's broke. Stupid mouse. It's cheap, it's tacky, it breaks easily. However, it is literally worth like a dollar and it does the job. So you know what, I'm gonna put it in E. Okay, moving on to $2. Let's see what we can get for double the price. Again, you can't buy this straight off Amazon. You have to get it in like a bundle. But again, this one is $2 worth. And the only real difference between the $1 and $2 is that uh, it's got a DPI button, which I'm clicking now and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Like, I'm not even being funny. For like an extra dollar, all you really get is a DPI button that does absolutely nothing. Honestly, I think it's near enough the exact same make as the $1 mouse, but they've charged me more for useless things. So for that reason, I can't put this in any other tier than an F. They've charged me double the price for the same features. Now let's move on to $5. We're actually stepping it up a little bit here. This is the M112 gaming mouse from Scorpion, and I can't lie that the, the packaging is quite crazy for $5. Features on this mouse say it does have interchangeable DPI, so that's pretty good. Apparently it's good for three million clicks. Has seven different colors. You know what, let's just open this thing and see if it's any good. Right, let's open this thing up. Okay, so slightly a bit more weight to this one. Okay, the RGB is a bit more subtle, but I think it's actually a bit more cleaner. This one does actually have interchangeable DPI. That basically changes how sensitive the mouse is. It's all right, it feels comfortable. It's got a pretty nice click to be fair. It also has two thumb buttons for um, thumb stuff. Honestly, this mouse is, it isn't too bad. For $5, this is pretty good. I'm gonna put this one in a solid C. It isn't too expensive. Yes, it is a bit cheap. However, it's $5. What do, you, what do you expect? Now, I do actually have another one here for $5. And this is the, I, I don't even know how you pronounce that. Vegco. Ve Vegco? It doesn't feel like a gaming mouse. It just falls out the box, okay? But you see this one, it is wireless. Hang on, I thought this was a gaming mouse. This, this looks like a, just a normal mouse. So to get it to connect, I just take the USB out the back, turn it on. Oh, that's why it's a gaming mouse. It has the slightest ever RGB. It does score points for having a charging cable with it, but it loses points on the fact that I have to basically use it like that. I basically have to put my hand flat. It just feels weird holding the mouse like this. I'm looking at this thing now. I think it only has two different DPI options and honestly, they're not that noticeable. It is only $5 though, so I think we're gonna stick this one in E tier. Okay, now moving on to $10. We're doubling the price with the HC Man 7D Gaming Mouse. Now this thing is a scam because I also bought this one here, which is the exact same thing, but they're from different companies. This one here is from Z Lotters, and this one here is from HC Man, but they're the exact same mouse. Like what is going on here? Okay, I'm gonna give it extra points for having that. That is pretty nice. But if we put the two together, they're the exact same mouse. However, even though this mouse has so many different variants, there is no doubt that this is a great gaming mouse. Let's just have a look at some of the features. So it has adjustable DPI that also changes the LED color of the mouse, which can be good or bad, depending on what color you want it. Like if I want my mouse to be blue, I'm just gonna have to live with the fact that my mouse is now really slow. But if I want my mouse to be like high DPI, I have to now settle with it being like pink. But the one feature that this mouse has, which completely changes is the game is the double click button. Now it's quite simple what this button does. This button here is one click and this button next to it is two clicks. Like this mouse can be used for in a bunch of different games but even just like in Fortnite. I don't even need to press any other keys on the keyboard because I can literally just press the back button and I can quickly change to my building. And then using the double click, I can literally just, oh my, yeah, that, that's, that's so quick. I feel like one of them pro Fortnite players who can do about eight edits a second. This pretty much hits every single mark that you want a gaming mouse to be. So for that reason, we're putting it in A slash S tier. Like it, it's so, close. Now moving up to $15, we have some pretty special edition mouses. We've got this Iron Man one right here. And I gotta say, I'm pretty excited to use this one. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Right, 
Oh, it needs batteries, of course it does. I'm guessing you put batteries in this thing and the eyes light up blue, so let's just have a little edit of that. But overall, when I'm using this thing, it feels horrible. Like when my hand goes over it, like this bit here is just sticking into my hand. And I'm not being funny, it's quite sharp. Like it's not painful, it's just irritating. It's a cool concept, but it's 15 pounds. It feels quite cheap. And plus I think the company that made this, I don't, I don't think they have the rights to use Iron Man. So there's probably a lawsuit in here somewhere. We're gonna put this one in E. However, we also have this, the car. This one is kind of sick, I can't lie. Oh no, but again, it needs batteries. Oh, this is double A. We have double A. I'm not gonna lie, in terms of looks, this is easily the coolest mouse we've had. Like honestly, I could put this mouse on the table and you probably wouldn't even realize it is a mouse at first. So in terms of design, I really like it. But in terms of comfortability, I think this might be the worst feeling mouse I've ever used. For starters, these headlights and exhaust, they go right into your palm. It's a bit like slowly rubbing your hand on sandpaper. But even though it isn't comfortable, that could all be forgiven. But what can't be forgiven, the wheels don't move. What is the point of having this when the wheels don't even move? In terms of looks, this thing honestly would be like an S. But because of how uncomfortable, how unusable it is, it's going straight up in D tier. Next, mouse. So now we're moving on to $20. And for $20, we get this, the XS RGB weightless mouse. This thing actually looks kind of nice. I'm not going to lie. Firstly, in the box, we have a USB-C charging cable. Nice to know that they're getting with the times. This is the mouse. Pretty light. It feels nice. I actually really like this. Just straight up. This is really nice. It has Bluetooth. Let's turn it on. Oh, look at that. It does have a DPI switch that is on the bottom, so it's out the way. Overall, this mouse is really nice. I really like the RGB at the front as well. Again, it does have fun buttons as well, so you can access shortcuts. Honestly, this is a really nice mouse to use. For $20 as well, I'd actually say this is, this is one of my favorites. I'm putting this in A tier. Now we're moving on to something a bit weirder. The $30 mouse. Now this one, again, is made by our friends at Zelotes. They made the $10 mouse, but they also made this one as well. And it has a, a special feature, let's call it that. Firstly, when we open the box, look at this. <laughs> this thing, man. What the hell is this? So this mouse is quite unique because it has a few different features on it. Obviously, it's ergonomically designed. It has a couple of fun buttons as well. But the main feature of this mouse is it has a goddamn joystick in the mouse. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at how bright those RGBs are as well. That's pretty nice. Wait, can I? Oh my god. So I can literally pretty much play Fortnite with one hand. I won't lie, it's a bit weird using the joystick and trying to move the mouse around to look at the same time, but it's still pretty useful. Oh, I can press it down to jump as well. This thing would take some getting used to. However, I can see why it's a thing. Comfortability wise, it actually does feel quite good. I won't lie. Oh God, someone's here. Hang on, come on, come on. Okay, it definitely was a bot. However, we did get a kill with this thing. It is nice just using one hand to play Fortnite, especially considering I can have all the shortcuts I want. It's a little bit strange, but I like it. It pretty much has every single feature that you could want on it. Nice RGBs, a joystick, changeable DPI, shortcut fun buttons. Like, honestly, I'm gonna put this thing into B. It's not amazing. However, it just does have everything. So moving on to the $40 mouse, we have the Razer Death Adder. Now this thing is pretty much a standard go-to mouse. It's nicely packaged. It has a good size to it. Oh, yeah, extra points just for that. Even has a little cap for the USB plug. This thing doesn't really come with any crazy bells and whistles. Like realistically, all this thing has is changeable DPI, shortcut fun buttons and LEDs. However, it does all those things incredibly well. For starters, like this thing, it feels like it was just made for my hand. Like it just feels so nice to hold. It sounds really good. God, it has some crazy DPI options. Oh my God, I'm just I'm just literally twitching the mouse right now. I look at how much it's changing. Yeah, this thing is crazy. This thing, it just does everything right. But obviously it is a little bit pricier at $40. So I'm just gonna stick this thing in A tier. Now it's time for the very last mouse. This is the most expensive one in our budget range. And that is the Red Dragon Impact Elite. Look at this thing. It comes in like a, a whole crate. I guess that is to justify the 50 pounds I spent on this thing. Oh my God, look at this. So this is a wireless mouse. So it comes with a USB-C charging cable, which is really nice to see. I'll just stick the USB receiver port in there. Let's turn it on. Oh, look at that. That is clean. The first impressions, I will say, this is the best feeling mouse out of the entire lot. Like it literally is the shape of my hand. It just feels so nice to hold. It has got a little bit of weight to it, but it's not too noticeable. But the main thing this mouse has is its features. So for starters, it has a double click button. The one thing I like about this DPI meter is it actually shows you what DPI you want just by having this little bar here. The scroll wheel feels kind of average, I won't lie. But the one thing that this mouse has, which all the others don't, is a absolute huge number pad on the back. What the 
the hell is this? Now you might think this is quite cool. However, the one issue with these buttons are, like without looking, I don't know what the hell I'm pressing. Like, am I pressing the number 12 right now? No, I'm pressing the number six. Overall, this is a good mouse, but it's $50. Like it does have quite a lot of nice features, but to me, it just doesn't feel too much different from the $10 mouse. So for that reason, I'm gonna put it in B. Now with all the gaming mouses reviewed, this is what the final table looks like. And I think that's pretty accurate. Hopefully from watching this, you have a better idea of what gaming mouse you should buy. I had a lot of fun reviewing these mouses, but if you wanna see a video of me reviewing the most expensive mouses on Amazon, hit that like button and I will do just that. I'll link all these different mouses below and I'll see you in the next one.